Welcome again sa ating Itolay TV na hatid pa rin ng Department of Education, Educational Technology Unit. Once again, I am your terrific tutor ng Science 4, si Tutor Cherry A. La Peña ng SDO City of Malolos. Okay? Ako ang inyong makakasama para sa Week 3 at kasama niya naman ang inyong Science Best Friend na si Tutor Ben para naman sa so Week 4. It's a terrific day today, mga little scientists. At bakit kaya? Dahil ang lesson natin ngayong araw ay may kinalaman sa aking headband na suot-suot. Ano kaya ang ating lesson? O sige, i-reveal na natin. Our lesson for today, for Science 4, Quarter 2, Week 3, the title of our topic is all about the special structure of plants. Alright! And for our objectives today, we will identify the special structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. Are you ready, our little scientists? Alright! I'm also excited for our topic. But, let's have our review session for our week 2 session last week. For our review session, let's have our Saibalik Tanao. Alright, and for our Saibalik Tanao, we will play Guess the Word. And for our direction, I will give questions about our topic last week. All you have to do is to think of the missing letters and try to find out what is the correct word or words. You only have 5 seconds to think. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. The clue will be, it is the ability of an animal to change its color or markings in order to blend to its surroundings. Your five seconds starts now. Well, let's reveal the missing letters. We have here letter M, O, F, G, and letter L. Did you got it right? It is the process of developing structures or organs for animals to survive. Your five seconds starts now. Okay, reveal na natin ang mga tamang letra. We have here letter A. P, A, O, and our last letter would be letter T. And the correct word is adaptation. Alright, well, you must prepare your notebook, paper, pencil, and ball pen. And don't forget your module. And let's start our lesson. Alright, let's start our new lesson with SciQuest and we will play another game. Ready na ba kayo, mga little scientists? For our SciQuest, we will play Snake Peak. Alright, and the direction will be, you will guess what plan does the picture shows. Alright, let's start. Okay. Then the second clue would be that. Nahuhulaan na ba mga little scientist? Alright. Definitely the correct word is water lily. Alright. Let's proceed to side quest number two. Ayan. Mukhang madaling mahulaan. Ayan na. Ayan na. And... The correct answer is cactus. Tama. And for our side quest number three, we have here, ayan. Okay. Ayan. And definitely the correct answer is rose. Ngunit ano ba ang kinalaman ng mga yan sa ating lesson for today? Did you got three over three? Well, you are terrific. Okay, let's have our aghang kaalaman. 
for our aghang kaalaman, the specialized structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. And will you please look outside your home and use a few minutes to look at the plants around you. In the previous lesson, you learned that animals live and survive in different environments using their adoptive behavior and body parts. And did you know, our little scientists, that plants live in different environments? Some plants thrive in water and some survive in hot desert land. And living things will not be possible without plants, children. And what benefits do we get from plants? And can you guess what is it? Or do you have any idea? And plants can be of two types depending on their habitat. We can classify the plants based on their habitat. They could be terrestrial plants and aquatic plants because not all plants look the same. They have different flowers, stems, and even root structures that they use in order to adapt in a certain environment. And they can be classified according to their habitat. They could be terrestrial plants or the plants live in a dry land or air and aquatic plants which are the plants that live on water. But what is the difference between the two? Let's learn it one by one. Okay, let's proceed. Any plant that grow on land or need to be on dry land to survive is called terrestrial plants and they need nutrients to survive both from the air and the soil. And the difference between terrestrial and aquatic plants is that while terrestrial plants live on land, aquatic plants are plants that live in water. They can only grow and thrive in a water environment. Aquatic plants are plants that live in water and they can only grow and thrive in a water environment. And they can be grouped to submerge aquatic plants and the emerged aquatic plants. But what is the difference between the two? First one is we have here the characteristic of submerged aquatic plants, which includes having all or almost all the plants growing underwater. We have here as the examples are eelgrass, sago pond weed, and water mill foils. If you can observe here in the examples given of submerged aquatic plants, these plants live and rooted greatly on the water bed. Others are emerged aquatic plants like lucky bamboo, golden photos, and calla lily. They have stems, leaves, or flowers that grow out of the water. Unlike the submerged aquatic plants, which is greatly submerged, or all of its parts are found under the water, these emerged aquatic plants like lucky bamboo, golden photos, and calla lily, two or more parts like their stem, leaves, or flowers grow out of the water. Kung yung submerged ay nakababad ang buong plant part sa tubig, itong emerged aquatic plants ay may mga plant part kagaya ng kanilang mga dahon, bulaklak, o sanga ay tumutubo rin sa ibabaw ng tubig. And now, let's talk about the specialist characteristics and structures of plants. For number one, some have waxy leaves that help them from dehydration, like gabi or taro. And plants with waxy leaves like gabi or taro help protect themselves from dehydration as a result of too much exposure to sunlight. Ito children ay makakatulong doon sa kanilang ano, pag store ng tubig sa kanilang mga katawan dahil ito ay makakatutulong para hindi sila madidehydrate dahil ang tubig ay napakaimportante sa mga halaman dahil ito ay kanilang ginagamit para makagawa ng kanilang sariling pagkain through the process of photosynthesis. Next is we have 
Ayan, kilalang kilala ng lahat yan. Because some have fleshy but thorny stems and leaves that store water, especially in the desert. And some plants have also developed structures to store water, especially in the desert like cactus, which is the best example of this. It has fleshy stems to conserve water for a long time. And also, these cactus have thorny stems as its specialized structure. Okay, let's proceed. Third, we have here, some have bulbous root system where their roots adapt themselves to their habitat, such as radish and potato. Roots of the plants adapt themselves to their habitat. They differ in sizes and in shapes depending on their functions. Example of that are radish and potatoes with bulbous root system. Let's proceed. For number four, thorns and hairs in some plants like lipang aso are protective structures. Ayan. As you can see here, mga little scientists, lipang aso or stinging nettle in English ay ito yung mga halaman na parang damo lamang sa ating paligid. At madalas, itong halaman na ito ay ano, para siyang mabuhok. At itong buhok na to ay kanyang specialized characteristic na kapag ating hinawakan ay pwedeng tayong mga tea because that serve as their specialized structure. Other specialized characteristics or structures of aquatic and terrestrial plants. Aside from the plants mentioned, there are different plants with specialized structures that enables them to survive and adapt to their environment. And some of the plants are the following. Let's start with the terrestrial plants. Okay, we have here a fruit-bearing tree with pungent odor as its specialized characteristic. Example of that is, ayan, yung marang o kilala din sa pangalang durian. Di ba medyo ibang kanilang amoy that serve at, as its specialized characteristic. Alright? Yan, maraming durian sa Dabao, mga bata. Next is we have here, they are known for unpleasant odor of flowers. Example of that is kalumpang tree. Kung yung kanina nating example, which is the durian, na medyo hindi kagandahan ang amoy ng prutas niya, ito namang kalumpang tree, ang may hindi kagandahang amoy ang yung kanyang bulaklak. Ito ang kanyang specialized characteristic. But still, insects attracts to pollinate this kalumpang tree. Alright? Let's proceed. We have here, talahib or kogon. Ayan. They have sharp leaf that might cause you harm. Kung naaalala nyo, di ba na nakakapaglaro pa tayo freely sa mga damuhan, itong talahid na to ay ano, na medyo matalim yung mga dahon niya at tayo ay nagkakaroon ng sugat kapag tayo ay nadikit sa talahid. Alright? Next we have here, pineapple. Ito namang pineapple, it has spines on their Leaves. Kung makikita nyo yung surface ng no, edges ng no, uh, pineapple leaf, meron siyang parang tusok-tusok. Yun yung kanyang specialized structure. Okay? Let's have our other example. Yan. Yan. Ito ang kilala ng lahat. Ang cactus. It has fleshy and thorny stems and leaves to conserve water for a long time. Time. It can grow in dry soil with small amount of water. Yung palang tusok-tusok na niya ay nag i store ng maraming water para makasurvive siya sa desert. Siyempre, kasi ang desert ay napakainit na lugar. Kung kaya, ang cactus ay ginagawan niya ng paraan ng kanyang mga thorny stems and leaves para makonserve at ma-store ang maraming tubig. Yan. Okay, next one is we have here the citrus plant. Itong citrus plants na to, it has a thorny stems and branches and its leaves and fruits have strong smelling oils that have unpleasant 
things. Ayan, tapos na tayo sa mga terrestrial plants. Ngayon naman, dumako tayo sa mga aquatic plants. Okay? First, aquatic plants na merong specialized characteristics and structures is we have here, ayan, water lily and lotus. Some have flat leaves and earth sacs for flotation. Ay, yung water lily na yan at saka yung lotus, meron silang mga earth sacs, yung mga maliliit na butas para sila ay makalutang sa tubig. Flat and buoyant leaves of plants help the plant float in water. Ayan. The water lily leaves have thick and buoyant leaves while lotus leaves are flat and broad so they tend to float in water surfaces. Okay? Next one is we have here, ayan, yung water hyacinth na tinatawag natin. They have long roots of plants help the plant reach the soil under water. Ito palang mga water hyacinth na to ay may mahahabang ugat. And these long roots help them to reach the soil under water. And the hyacinth is the best example having long roots so that they can reach the soil under the water. Okay. The specialized characteristics and structures of plants are important to plants in order to adapt to their environment. And we are able to choose and identify the plants to grow in a particular habitat because of their characteristics. And our little scientists, for our sight, tandaan, plants can be classified according to their habitat. They can be terrestrial plants or aquatic plants. Terrestrial plants are plants that live on land, while aquatic plants are plants that live in water. And both of these have specialized structures like bulbous root system, wax leaves, thorns, fall odors, and many more, which are important to plants in order to adapt to their environment. And we are able to choose and identify the plant to grow in a particular habitat according to their characteristics. And now, we will test your understanding about our topic today. And let's have our aghamon. Alright. For our aghamon, read each question carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. You only have 5 seconds to choose your answer. Are you ready, little scientist? Alright. Let's start. For number 1. What plant grows in water? A. Banana B. Coconut tree C. Water lily Or letter D. Mango tree Your 5 seconds starts now. All right, definitely the correct answer is letter C, water lily. Okay, for number two. What plant grows on land? A, water lily. B, water hyacinth. C, lotus. Or letter D, papaya tree. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. Well, the correct answer is letter D. All right. For number three, the question is, what kind of plants grow on land in different places? A. Hydrophytes. B. Aquatic plants. C. Macrophytes. Or letter D, terrestrial plants. Your five seconds starts now. The correct answer is letter D. All right, let's proceed. For number four, 
Which of the following plants has fleshy stems as their specialized structure to conserve water for a long time? Is it A. Cactus? B. Cogon? C. Pineapple? Or letter D. Strawberry? Your five seconds starts now. Two and one. Well, definitely, the correct answer is letter A. Cactus. What specialized structure is present to succulent and cacti? Letter A, big and hard stem. Letter B, long and hairy stem. Letter C, small and smooth stem. Or letter D, fleshy and thorny stem. Your five seconds starts now. All right, the correct answer is letter D, fleshy and thorny stem. All right, because you are terrific, you will receive a mahusay Congratulations to our little scientist. Dahil dito sa agham, lamang ang may dunong at alam. All right. And for our terrific thought today, to plant a garden is to believe that there is hope for tomorrow. Once again, congratulations to our little scientists. Ayan. At kay may po sa Science Elementary Department for Quarter 2, Itulay TV po ay mapapanood every Tuesday. Mapapanood niyo po si Tutor Ben, Tutor Love, si Tutor Cherry, si Tutor Ethel, si Tutor Maha, at si Tutor Nate. Once again, I am your terrific tutor of Science 4, Tutor Cherry Lapeña from Balayong Elementary School, Schools Division of City of Malolos. Kita-kita ulit tayo mga little scientists. Paalam!